Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be quickly covering the token swap and the rebranding of Orion Protocol to Lumia. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. So jumping into their Twitter page, I'm going to leave all of the links down below in the description so you can check everything out for yourself. But they are transitioning into a liquidity layer for RWAs. Now, we have covered Orion Protocol many times on this channel. I'm still holding the Orion tokens, and I'm sure a lot of you are holding ORN tokens as well. Orion Protocol is essentially a mix between a DEX and a centralized exchange. They have their own terminal where you can set up buy and sell limit orders and do a whole bunch of other stuff. And I'm going to leave a link to their terminal down below in the description. Now, here is the page with their introduction. And we're going to quickly go through a few key points here. In this rapidly evolving landscape, the quest for seamless, efficient, and scalable liquidity solutions has remained at the forefront of the blockchain interest. Today, we are thrilled to introduce Lumia, a Web3 liquidity layer that is ushering in a new era of capital efficient and sustainable DeFi protocols. Lumia is lightening the way for a better financial future, propelling the biggest financial applications and ecosystems towards a real global adoption. Orion's inception was driven by a vision to address a fundamental issue within the DeFi sector. This challenge prompted the creation of Orion Terminal, an innovative platform that unified liquidity from both DEXs and SEXs, setting a new benchmark in the DeFi landscape. However, as the sector matured, it became evident that the true potential for the underlying technology extended far beyond a single platform. And essentially, there trying to migrate to a new niche and you can read about all of it here in um, on their website now binance will be supporting the mainnet swap so i'm going to leave a link to this as well essentially they will halt trading on october 15th at 3 30 utc deposits and withdrawals of orn tokens will be suspended Users should leave sufficient time for their ORN deposits to be fully processed prior to this time. So if you're looking to deposit tokens into Binance, then I would recommend you do that as soon as possible, just so you can have the swap go through automatically. Unfortunately, I did not learn anything regarding the ledger swaps. I assume it's going to happen either automatically or you'd have to send the ORN tokens to a centralized exchange and then the swap will happen. You have to double confirm. Personally, I will be sending my tokens to Binance and then I will resend them back to my ledger after the migration has been completed. Binance will handle all technical requirements for users who are involved in this event. So they're also noting that the total supply will increase from 92 million to 238 million tokens after the rebranding. Users can refer to Project Tokenomics and Announcement for more information. Now, a lot of people are getting upset because of this, but you have to understand how the token increase is going to work. And before we continue with the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon. If you're interested in getting more exclusive content, you want to support me as a creator, and you like what you're seeing here on YouTube and you want more, feel free to check out the Patreon. That's definitely a place for you. There's a seven day free trial, which means you can get access to all of my content since the inception of the page. So that means you get podcasts, low cap gems, uh, technical analysis, project reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. We try to do posts there on a daily basis. We cover airdrops and a lot of stuff that we don't really cover on YouTube because we don't have as much time. And of course, because patrons get more stuff and more content. And uh, if you're interested in that, the link is down below in the description. Thank you all. Let's continue on with the video. So if we go to the Brave browser, we can get a summary of the token increase. So the new Total supply will be 238 million Lumia tokens. This increase is mentioned in multiple sources. So they mentioned the Binance uh, website that we just looked at. 
And the newly minted tokens consists of two allocations, the node rewards and ecosystem rewards. None of the new token um, supply is allocated to the team. That's very important to keep in mind. The two allocations will be entirely distributed to ecosystem contributors. The new token supply will be vested quarterly for over 10 to 20 years. And uh, this is obviously coming from the team. You can double confirm everything with the links down below in the description. Post token swap, Lumia will unlock the first quarter of rewards, accounting for the increase of 11.9 million tokens in circulation immediately following the token swap. Now, this will be still quite a hefty unlock because if we go to Orion's current circulation, we're sitting at 34 million tokens. On, if you add 12 to that, we're going to be sitting at 46, and that's around a 30% increase in total supply, or rather circulating supply. This means that we're going to see potentially a price dump. However, with this bullish event, we could have a short-term pump. So I'm just letting you know that this could be a tradable event. Once the Lumia token is available on Binance, we might have a pump. So if you're looking to quickly sell and maybe wait for a correction, uh, you know, a week or two afterwards to buy back in, that could potentially be a that could potentially be something to look forward to. But again, this is not financial advice by any means. If we go into DeFi Llama, let's take a look at what the TVL is looking like. So if we go to the TVL, actually, no, we can probably take a look at it here. There we go. So $4.34 million is currently locked within the Orion terminal while the market cap is sitting at 35. So this is not very good and not too bad, of course. Uh, there are other protocols who are sitting at much less TVL. However, this is something that you should keep in mind moving forward because if you're going all in to Orion protocol at this stage in its life cycle, it is very risky. So make sure you diversify as always. So could this be the most bullish thing for Orion holders? We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see how this migration is going to happen and how the demand for the project is hopefully going to increase after this. Maybe we'll have even more listings. And uh, so far, we only know about Binance automatically swapping the tokens. I'll keep you updated on Twitter, hopefully, for any more uh, exchanges that confirm this. Of course, follow Lumia on Twitter as well to stay up to date. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what are your thoughts. Stay safe and goodbye.